Hello, this is Bill Williams. Welcome to another Life on Trahan Creek series video. In today's video, we'll be taking a bare patch of ground and converting it into a food plot source for deer by planting deer veg. Behind me and now to my left is the area where we will be doing our work. That particular area is just a little overgrown patch mostly covered with pine needles, partially shaded next to my Durana clover plot. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started of transforming this useless piece of area into some deer food. Have you ever seen this plant? It's Eschenomene americana, also known as American joint veg or just simply deer veg. For this demonstration, I've selected an unused, damp spot bordering the wood line along my Durana clover food plot number one. You may be wondering, why should you plant deer veg? Here's an example that popped up in one of my food plots last summer and I just left it. You will see the deer have nipped the tops out of the plant and strip the leaves off, and they did this every time they grew back. Deer love this plant. Okay, let's get started. First, you will need some seed. I purchased my seed from Seed Ranch at the prices shown, which included free shipping. I received the seed very quickly. Deer veg seed is expensive, so if you're in the south and on a budget, just burn off the area, lightly cultivate, and wait on nature to give you volunteer plants. Step one is to remove unwanted vegetation. Let's take a little walk around look first, and you'll see a little bit about uh, what we have here that's just natural vegetation. Most of this is just a variety of different broad leaves and grasses. There are, however, some plants in here that have volunteered which are good deer food. If you will look down here, you will see this particular plant is a wild rose. It's excellent deer food and we will leave that plant. We will work around it. Okay, let's do this in stages. First stage is clearing this off and getting it down to some bare plantable dirt. Once the area is cleared out, which in this case was nothing more than hand raking, then the next step is to mark the plants and flag them that uh, are good deer food already there and that you do not want to kill or remove. Let's take a look at a few of them. One of these is a little American holly. That's what it looks like right there. Lots of red berries. It's the Christmas bush. Some of you might know it as that. Extremely good for creating hedges or larger trees for nesting. Here's another one here and of course we've marked a lot of wild rose here here little patches of them here and there we also have there's another wild rose we also have a plant that i don't know what it is but there it is so some of you geniuses may know if you'll notice the top of it snipped off deer love this plant they snip off every single one. Here's another top snipped off. And they just eat them as fast as they grow. So you don't want to take these out of your deer feeding area. Another wild rose over here. And they love those wild roses. They will eat them. Here's another of the plant that I don't know what is. Top eating off of that one also. Once you've got it cleared out, as I have here, then the next step is to put some Roundup in or however else you want to get the plants out that you don't want and uh, get it ready to plant. After the Roundup has had time to work, it's time to come back and weed eat out the unwanted vegetation. Now that the area has been cleared of all vegetation as well as raked to loosen the topsoil just a little bit. We are ready to plant some seeds. 
the soil is loose enough to be able to drag and pull a little bit of soil over the seeds. The deer vetch seeds are very, very tiny, so they actually could be planted, uh, and we will plant them, broadcasting on the so surface and watering them in, covering them a little bit with the soil through probably a little dragging process and then watering them in. And that'll be enough, just good seed contact with the soil. We will get, um, should get some results. That is if all the birds do not eat our seed. That is a jeopardy everywhere. But uh, if you're doing this in a food plot, you don't have to get it quite this clean. You don't have to mark the valuable food plants that are already there, but I do recommend it. You'll just get better results. Take a little extra time. I've probably got about five hours in this project right now, which to me, that's not too bad. And finally, here is the end result after being watered in. Takes a little while to water it in. Need plenty of water, don't be afraid of that. Give them a good drink. Mostly what you want to do is for the water to be not so extreme that it uh, blows the seed away, but powerful enough that it pops them down into the dirt and gives them good soil contact. Now all that's left is Mother Nature, sunshine, and uh, fresh air, and natural water to bring us some um, germination, and that's going to take a little while, be a few days before we see any real results. Meanwhile, since I flagged all of these items of deer food here, the deer are able to find it pretty good, and they've already been chewing on my roses, stripping the leaves off of them. So I'm hoping they don't chew these all up before uh, some cover comes up with the deer vetch. That's all there is to it, in case you're wondering. This particular patch is roughly about um, four yards wide and 10 yards or so long, 40 square yards or 360 square feet. And uh, you can proportion your seed accordingly. I just do it by hand and just try to give it a good covering. And that's it. We'll wait and see what comes up. I'm going to take these two trees out here. They're just really snags and get in the way of the view from my house. So uh, I've been working on those, just burning them at the base to kill them, and then we'll cut them down, leave a couple of snags to put my cameras on, and uh, keep getting food plot pictures. And here we are with the deer vetch up and running. The plot was originally planted June 9th. This photo is 15 days later, and we've got a good stand. Here's a look 11 weeks later on September the 15th. The deer and rabbits are already keeping this mowed down to only about a foot tall. Otherwise, it would be close to waist high. Give deer vetch a try. I think you'll be happy.